Well, you know, you see that that's a 66 Rickenbacker right there. I've been playing that for 45, you know, 45 years. Imagine. And so, you know, in Germany, I'm Mr. Rickenbacker. And uh, and I'll take that. I'll take that. (laughs) Hello, everybody. This is Arwen Lewis, and you're listening to the Arwen Lewis Show. Uh, We just brought you back in from break with my very special guest recording of his song, End of Time. And uh, my very special guest today, if you're just tuning in, is Robert LaRoche, singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Uh, He's part of a band called The Size, has just released a solo record on OMAD Records uh, called Forevermore, and also is a lead guitarist for an amazing artist named Patricia Vaughn. And so, Robert, I thought we could start talking guitars. Um, For those of you who can't see, we're going to put this video up on YouTube. But Robert has some really cool guitars in in the background on his video here. So can you tell me about those guitars? This guitar is is my child. This is this is uh, 1966 Rickenbacker 330. And this is my baby. It's my absolute baby. And, you know, it's, as, as you probably know, Rickenbackers are, you know, known for their chime, chimey sound and, and they do chime for sure. Um, And what I try and do is um, first of all, I, all my work is in E flat. I'm tuned down a half step and I'm in lucky enough to be endorsed by a company called pyramid strings in out of Germany. So they make a special gauge for me, quite quite heavy strings, but because the guitar is tuned down, it can the neck can handle it. You know, I mean, I use a thirteen on the high E. That's that's heavy, and um, it gives the sound. Yes, it has the chime of the of of, the, of what Rickenbackers are known for, but it also gives some bottom. It gives it a, it gives it a little and some more resonance and a little bit of a darker tone. Uh, and, and, and I love that, you know, my work with the size, my work with Patricia Vaughn, my solo work is all in E flat. And, uh, I learned that by mistake really, because I was a big Everly Brothers fan, uh, long before I even had an electric guitar and I was, you know, trying to learn their songs. And I said, I know till I kissed you can't be out of A flat, a barred A flat. That doesn't make sense. And so. I figured out, let, let me, you know, I've had the sense enough to tune the guitar down a little bit and at least get the E string on the same notes. And then yeah. I realized, no, it's not, it's not A flat F, it's, it's G E minor. And so then, okay, once I had the E string figured out, then I detune the A and the D and the G and the B and the E, and I was in E flat. And then I could play along to the Everly Brothers. It wasn't until not that long ago, maybe in the past 10 years where I found, because I do a deep dive on them, because I actually saw them live in 2000. They're, they're my big heroes. And um, they called it their little cheater, uh-huh. being an E flat. And it works great for vocals. It works great. It makes the, gives the guitars a little darkness against, you know, because, you know, Everly Brothers vocals, the hits aren't the singing's not dark, right? It necessarily, it's it's bright, but it, against that backdop of the of the E flat, it, it, so I kind of I kind of ran with that, and that guitar behind me has served me well for forty years. Wow! So you've been playing the same guitar this for basically your whole career. Pretty much my whole career, yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah, um, yeah. I had a you- friend of mine sold it to me wonderful guy who's no longer here his name was Frank Lucchese and he was a brilliant guitar maker and he used to love to go to tag sales and yard sales he found it at a a yard sale for 50 bucks now he he sold it to me for a a markup but a very 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 good deal and he knew I wanted that and uh, I honor every time I play it I honor Frank you know yeah and acoustics, you know, acoustic guitars, I'm uh, a little bit of a, I admit that I'm a little bit of a snob. I, I do like, I do like vintage Gibsons. I'm a Gibson guy and, um, but it doesn't have to be Gibson, right? It doesn't have to be, but 
you know, obviously a vintage Martin is going to sound real good too. any vintage acoustic, you know, I mean, um, but uh, if I had my brothers, I'd probably be, you know, playing a 52 Southern jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> well, why vintage? Um, for those of us, because, you know. because of the wood, because mm -hmm. of the wood, the aged rosewood gives off these beautiful, dark, resonant tones that you cannot get with a guitar made in 2023 loaded with lacquer. And first of all, you can't even get that type of wood anymore. It's, you can't find it. It's, I don't know if it's outlawed. I think, I think there are some places it's literally against the law uh, to get your hands on this stuff, you know? So it's, 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 it's a combination of the wood and the craftsmanship is so precise and they all sound different. They all sound different. You could line up 10 vintage Gibsons. They're all going to sound different and that they may not all be great. I, I also admit that, you know, some might be like, well, maybe they had a bad day that day, or, you know, maybe the, maybe the luthier stayed out too late the night before they all have their own personality, but I have a preference for vintage acoustics. What's and the, luckily working with Dina Cola, I, you know, th there are some vintage guitars. He's got some cool guitars. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's the acoustic that you've got behind you right now? I don't. So know. after all that talk about vintage, this <laughs> is not vintage at all. <laughs> this is just a working Alvarez that um, because I'm, um, uh, I'm, 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 doing family stuff right now uh, in Massachusetts. So I'm, my, my guitars are back in Austin. So my friend gave me this just to write and, you know, just have an acoustic in the house. So that's an Alvarez. It's a, it's a good guitar. Yeah. Well, um, we're going to, I want to keep nerding out on this, um, but we're going to have to run out to break really quick again. Um, we're going to take you out with Robert LaRoche's song, Hard Rain, and bring you back in with the size hit, uh, Think About Soul. And this is Arwen Lewis. You're listening to The Arwen Lewis Show. My very special guest is Robert LaRoche, and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I mean, you can set up the Let's set just the songs. Set up. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So we're going to, we have two minutes. So I think we'll probably just set up the song. Re, um, I'll read, talk about uh, where they can find you really quickly. And is there any like last like little thing you want to say before we end the show? Maybe just, you know, that I'm going to be touring Germany and Austria in October. Awesome. I'll, I'll ask you about that and then we'll uh, introduce the song. I took up a lot of time with these crazy stories, but you know. <laughs> well, see, it's really when you get the interview and you hear it, you're gonna you're gonna like it. It it all ties. I have, I have, I have no doubt. It's fun when you're doing stuff that's fun. You're already ahead, you know. Well, yeah, and this flew by. I'm like, that was 45 minutes. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like 15, 15 minutes. He was like 56 <laughs> with music. All right. That's what I had. Okay, I'll do a dead time so our engineer knows. Hello, everybody. This is Arwen Lewis, and you just heard uh, my very special guest, Robert LaRoche, and his band, The Size, with their song, Think About Soul. And we're just going to wrap up really quick. Um, we're going to take you out of the show, and we're going to be playing Robert LaRoche's song that he just released yesterday on September 19th, and it's called Forevermore. And we're here kind of celebrating and talking about Robert's extensive career and also his recent um, album that he just released, Forevermore. Um, so you're going to be doing a tour, Robert. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about that before we send everyone Absolutely. off? Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. I'll be uh, touring uh, Germany and Austria all of October with my acoustic trio. I have a, two wonderful uh, classical musicians. Um, Juni Huang is on violin. And I have John Divin on contrabass, myself on acoustic guitar and vocals. So it's it's a kind of a Baroque orchestral pop. Awesome. <laughs> um, and then can they uh, find out about that tour on your website? Absolutely. Robert LaRoche Music uh, dot com. All the tour dates are on there. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And my CD release show is yeah, this Saturday night in Holyoke, Massachusetts at the Divine Theater. 
so amazing. Um, I'll be there in spirit. Thank um, you, Arwen. Well, Robert, the, I'm so, sad we're out of time, but this has been such a treat to, to get to talk to you on my show. Thank you for taking the time to tell us your stories. Um, and yeah, everybody, we're going to take you out of the show uh, playing in its entirety. Robert LaRoche's song Forevermore from his recent album Forevermore. Uh, this is Arwen Lewis. And Robert, thanks again so much for coming on today. Thanks to you. All right, everybody. Enjoy. Good. Awesome. High five. <laughs> Boom. That was fun.